All right guys, time for another quick video and this one is gonna be on fusing. I'm working on the Audi and I needed a way to fuse the car under the hood that made sense. It needed to be small and compact and I'll show you what I'm working with here. So you guys have seen many a &L fuse holders. You know, they're pretty good size. You've got your a &L fuse holders which are even bigger. There's your a &L fuse compared to your mini a and l and you've also got circuit breakers you can run but what i'm using is this guy right here this is a mrbf that is marine rated battery fuse you'll also see these called cbbf which is cooper busman battery fuse and cooper busman was bought out by eaton e-a-t-o-n so Eden owns Busman and Busman is the fuse manufacturer. So this is a terminal fuse and here's the way this works. This is your terminal and you can bolt this directly to your battery or you can bolt it to a bus bar. And what happens here is you have your metal conductor here and then you have an insulator right here at the bottom. You can see this brown insulator. So I'm gonna show you a quick continuity test on this, how it works, and I'm gonna show you the fuse and how it installs. And I'm gonna show you why this is an advantage over something like this at the car. Now to show you guys how this thing operates, I've got my trusty Fluke 75 from, I don't know, 1995, 1996. And what I'm gonna do is continuity test. So continuity is when two electrical points are essentially the same point. So you will hear that. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cap, the nut, and the washers here. And I wanna show you guys what exactly this is. If you look at this, this is where our battery post would be. And we'll bolt that down, and then our fuse will come up here. And our fuse will sit up here, we'll bolt it down. But I'm gonna show you guys continuity through this thing and where it does and doesn't have continuity. So anywhere I touch right now, I've got my negative or my positive over here where the battery post would be. Anywhere I touch with this lead and we hear that beep, I have continuity. So obviously this whole metal piece, we have continuity. But if we come here, no continuity. And the reason is, is this stud is in, mounted inside this insulator you see here. So we, it will not conduct electricity these two pieces are electrically open. So let's go to the fuse. This is a Busman 300 amp 58 volt fuse. Now it's rated for 300 amps of current, but the voltage rating on fuses is due to the difference of potential of a fuse. So a fuse, its whole purpose is to interrupt a short circuit. So once this fuse blows, and the circuit is interrupted, at that point is when this voltage becomes important. If you have a lower voltage fuse and the voltage, the difference of potential between this point and this point is greater, the difference of potential can jump the gap in the fuse and continue the circuit. So 58 volt fuse in a car that's running 14 volts is not an issue. If it was reverse and you had, say, a 12 volt fuse and you were running 58 volts, that is an issue because the difference of potential is greater than the fuse is rated for. For what we're doing, that's not an issue. So, this fuse, obviously, you guys know how fuses work. Connect one side, two terminals, it's good. So, the way this works on this terminal block, remember we have no continuity right now. So if I take this fuse, put it on here, go ahead and put our washer here, tighten this guy down. At this point, I will have continuity. And I have 300 amps of fusing. And I know it's not gonna jump the dielectric gap once it blows, because this is a 58 volt fuse. It's gonna take much more than 50, or much more than the 14 volts we have in the car to to jump it. So you got your fuse on there, you got your cap, and 
that is a fused battery terminal. Now I'm going to take this to the car and show you why I'm using this versus your typical under hood fuses you see like that or this JL or even this mini ANL. I mean this whole unit is essentially it's smaller than an ANL fuse. So it's smaller than the breaker. It's it's just compact and I'm going to show you why this is important in the Audi. So here in the Audi you can see that we have this post right here and there really is no good place to put a lug. I can put a lug there and kind of have it sticking out but then with the space that I have available here where am I going to put a fuse block like you would have with the JL or, or whatever that I showed earlier where would be a good place to put that. What I can do though is use this guy and mount it inverted right here top gun because I was inverted I can put this guy right here and have 300 amps of fusing in a nice compact location so that is what I'm going to do on this is use this little guy to get 300, 300 amps of fusing and that will be for the entire car and I know a lot of you are looking at this and going well it's upside down if I put it like this it's going to hit the hood so I have to go full top gun on it and invert it and you always disconnect the negative anyway so it's not an issue there but that is why we're using this is because space is limited there and I do not want to have a bulky ANL fuse holder or circuit breaker or whatever under the hood there you go quick explanation MRBF fuse small compact and great to have you can also get these that attach to the battery terminal and have two fuse holders they have them you can attach these to bus bars you can get them in a bus bar setup but they're great to have up to 300 amps of fusing per fuse so see you guys next time